yeah hello everybody and welcome back to a new lecture and today we'll be creating a new project and the project name will be roll the dice so basically we'll be creating a roll the dice game and this was my favorite game when i saw i was in a childhood so i hope you guys know the game rule that uh, whenever we were playing the roll the dice we just roll the dice and the number that we get we used to add in and we have to get uh, some point and for this game we'll create a two user so we'll be creating a two user and one user will be here and so the another user over here so let's have a two user and whenever he, one user roll the dice so let's see roll the dice and whatever number he get then we will calculate at a total t o t a l total and we will add up and whenever he also roll the dice then we will also get the, that number and add into the total of uh, let's say have a two percent one is a and total of uh, b and we have a one game point which will be of a game point is equals to let's say 100 so whoever user so whether the a user is that point at a 100 or the b use uh, you reach the point of 100 so whoever reach the game point of 100 will be the unit so let's go and see how to create this uh, roll the dice game and we'll be creating a new project over here and let's go back to our Android studio so this was our previous project that we created and first of all we have to create a new project so let's go to the file and go to new and i'll just go to a new project and from here i will select the empty activity and just click on next and let's give a name of our roll the roll the dice that should be fine and the package name that you want to set uh that if you want to upload it to the letter it to the play store make sure you give a unique name and i have just gave as uh, come that they want the uh, roll the dice the, that uh, last come from here the package name uh, which is our game name or application name and that's it the location where you want to save i will be saving at this point that should be okay and the language uh, make sure you select a kotlin because uh, we'll be using a kotlin to uh, do our project so previously we started with a kotlin and let us continue with a kotlin and maybe when we finished our kotlin project then maybe we go can go for the java so let's select a Kotlin from here and the API level you just uh, select depending on your requirement. Let me keep uh, as uh, 5.1 for my one. And uh, yeah, this support project. Uh, let this project will support an instant app. Okay, then just click on finished. So the finish will take uh, some time to build up your application because it may need to download or build up something. Okay, I think it's quite fast and the build is successful so let's go to our project over here from here our project i will select the android and from android i will go to my first of all go to the java section over here this is our package name and this is our main activity and if you see on create over here what it is saying is it set the content view if you are not sure and if you are not familiar with it i will let me uh, just explain it so on create view it's called whenever uh, your first the app is launched so whenever this activity or is launched it will be go to on create and we have learned about the life cycle of our android application maybe on our next lecture we will go and see about the life cycle so first of all when it's called on create we have set content view so set content view is pointing to some uh, layout file so if you go to race layout and inside this layout we have activity main so this is if you go over here this is pointing to that activity so this will be our design file let me minimize this one and if you go to design so this is our design so where we will be designing all of our gameplay and this is our class file where we'll be writing a code so first we'll start with a design so let's go to the activity which is on the race layout and main activity so over here we have some hello world over here uh, what i will do is i'll just uh, delete this one because we will be not using this one 
and what we'll be uh, doing is we need to add an image view so we have an image view over here so i have uh, some image file over here which will be of our dice so if you see we have a dice one dice two dice three dice four dice five and dice six so i need to add this file to our driver folder over here so just right click over here and go to the so in explorer and we'll open our folder uh, file location for our rest and go inside the driver and i have this image and i'll just select all this so i'll just copy it and i will go back over here and i'll just paste it so we have a uh, one two three four five six image that should be fine just close uh, everything and now we can add an image so i'll just go over here and drag that one and go to the project and i'll just select the dice one first and it's too big i think we need to adjust the height so for that uh let me go and set the height of our uh, width of around 200 dp and also i will set the height of uh, 200 dp 200 okay 200 dp yeah that should be fine and the next i will select our constraint to okay, let me constraint to the bottom i think so let me constraint to bottom i think but terms should be fine so let's set select as a 16 first and what i will do now is uh, i will just set up background color so for this i will say the background color of uh, let's put a red yeah that should be better and okay and we have an image view already and let's give a name for this image view and let's go and select our dice image and we'll give a name to this image view as a dice image view. So don't forget to give an id ids are very important because later when you want to use that in our code we will make use of this id so we have a set of our dice image already and uh, next thing that also we need uh we will set up one more view over here which we will add uh, our the current player maybe we'll add a current player the total over here so what we will do is we will add a okay let's add a new card view so i will say card we just uh, search our card over here and you get a card view so just drag this one inside over here and this operation requires the library to be downloaded okay we, see we need to download some libraries just click on okay and it will go and download some of the libraries that is required the card view if you go to the gradle script and build the gradle over here uh, you will see that will be added over here so if you see that Previously, it was not add, uh, added, so now it's added. The card view is added. Now we can go and make use of this card view. So let's set a height and width of this for this card view. So I think what we need to do is we need to. I cannot see the if you see here, I cannot see the attribute over here. That's because it's just added over here. Mm, I can need to go over here and I will need to set a height. Wrap okay the layout width let's say match parent and for the height i will just say around 250 dp and if you go to back yeah we can see and let's constrain it to right and left and yeah, i think let's go back okay i think let me close the project and reopen the project because i can see some of the design properties over here so if you have the same problem, what we can do is we can just close the project and or restart the project. So I will restart the project and I'll come back.